right, so here we are. Here's the fountain. And here's the little boat. Home on the... Uh, no, I'm get Wakato. Yeah, I don't know the other number, so... Home on the four. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's huge. I can't even imagine how much liters of water it kind of lost into into the air but it's probably a big big number all right so let's head to the tickets office and just ask i mean it's the same firm as far as i can see this cgn this is the same this is the same boat we saw in uh in lausanne but as i said uh, i don't know i mean it shows the uh, well, yeah, it should work because it shows that uh, the icon, so it's the same icon I have in my ticket. So, uh, yeah, so technically that should work. It has cruises. So if it departs from here, basically all I need is to go in the opposite direction. So that must be the English gardens then. Yeah, the water is clean and look at this guy. This is the Mr. Goose, I guess, or is it the, oh, this is the Swan. So Mr. Swan is uh, looking for some grass or, I don't know, something at the bottom. So it's feeding, bottom feeding, but it does it such a interesting way, like boop. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, we'll put 18 plus on that video. Oh yeah, here's the pier, right? So that's what the Google showed me. So. Technically, it's just there to there. Okay, so I think it was the right decision not to, not to wait for the boat, so you can just literally use the bridge and cross. Nice. Okay, well, I guess I will keep walking and uh, yeah, I just let's uh, let's get to the, uh, to the to the water fountain and yeah, take it from there, I guess. Right, here we go. Here is the the uh, the most famous water fountain of Geneva. So I don't think you can get any closer to that. But uh, let's see. And on the background, yeah, that's the Lausanne. That's that's the uh, that's the boat. I think we saw there. So technically, see could have waited and boarded it and you know it took it a bit longer but still uh, it arrived in Geneva so you see this firm CGN so I think they like the main operator on the coast coast to coast basically so transporting people wow so <laughs> yeah I can even feel it from here so all the water is a little the uh, the air is really moisturized. I don't think it's worth to go <laughs> any closer. Otherwise, you just, just get wet. The other thing I noticed that uh, the planes are actually landing there. So like they're just approaching from the right, which means the airport's somewhere here. That means France is actually uh, that way. So that's, this, is, this is the front which means the Lausanne that way, which makes sense, right? So that's the coast, that's the lake, you go all the way down, you get to Lausanne. And then here again, uh, mutual yacht, yacht. Uh, and then, yeah, just buildings. I mean, it's 
it's not bad. Uh -huh. It's just like if you go to Geneva and ex expect something super duper exciting. I mean, the view is of course extraordinary. I mean, wow. I mean, you got the all of this. Uh, perhaps one thing I can note, which I think uh, is a super big plus if you compare uh, Lausanne and Geneva, is that of course uh, there's much more people and it sounds much more cosmopolitan, which means, uh, of course, uh, although you hear uh, like plenty of French around, I've heard English, Russian, some weird languages I couldn't even recognize. So. Uh, yeah, so it definitely feels uh, much more friendlier there, like, because I think in, uh, when you live in Lausanne, um, it's not, uh, not that many expats. Of course, there are a lot of uh, like international companies, etc., but um, not so many expats uh, there compared to Geneva. This is a really international city. So, okay, so this is the... The water whole fountain. We, you just uh, pick it like this, just so you can have a like a killer background. Like there's no way you can fake it. That's not a green screen, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do do that. really flat it has probably has gigantic sails let's look at this beauty Neptune oh, this is the uh, this is how you control it right so you so this is this is the pirate club so Lausanne you know meh, they are the true pirates especially if you add the uh, uh, the bankers, the local bankers here, because of course Geneva is full of banks. So uh, I think it would be fair to say that the uh, the true pirates are actually based in Geneva. <laughs> yeah, it's getting really, really hot. Hey, look at this. It's a full-size boat. Uh, then they turn it into a restaurant. That's really clever. Mario's Bar. Look at this. Really, really nice. Ah, look what I found. So this is this is perfect. So, so pretty much this is where we are right now. Uh, oh, apparently it's called M2. So this is the this is the the boat. So it goes like this, like that, and some free. Okay, so basically they're just connecting the uh, the both sides. Okay, Jardin Anglais. So this is the gay, the English gardens. And let's see, where's the where's the cathedral? Promenade Saint Anthony. Hmm. De la Rome. Cathedral Saint Pierre. So this is this is the one. This is the one I heard about. So we can go there to to check it out uh, on this side. I mean, apart from it, it's just buildings and, uh, uh, well, buildings and parks. It, but it looks pretty green, right? So, you see, so it's a really well, uh, well thought, the, uh, the plan. And then, uh, where did we come from? So, we came from the, 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 the rail station. So, literally, that's what I did. So, that's the Rue des Alpes. That's what I did. We crossed, and then we went over here. All right, so yeah, I'm kind of getting getting now, now getting a sense of uh, directions, like where things are. Here's the uh, the Geneve, the restaurant. All right, so okay, so let's uh, let's head to the uh, to the gardens, and then from there, okay, let's explore the the cathedral. So basically, we just take left, left here, and uh, yeah, it's 15 minutes stops and we get there. Oh, 
Look at, look at this monster, that's a real monster truck. I mean, it's uh, well, actually, I've seen a bit of a long way. What is that? Definitely a trolley bus or an, ele an, electric, an electric bus. It's pretty cool, but I've seen a longer one. Let's just see, but they do they have trams as well. Uh, well, here's the tram. Doesn't look as cool as uh, the one in uh, in Zurich. Nah. I mean, it's okay. They look a bit old. But probably, uh, I mean, they do the job. That's the main thing. But the Zurich one, they are quite iconic. But Geneva, they have they have their own icons, right? So you can't have both and everything in one city. So that's okay. Yeah. So like. Uh, I mean, based on the number of shops and the brands, this is definitely the local Bankhofstrasse. Oh, here's the bus. See, see that's, that's the long one. So it has the double section. Look at this monster. So it's one, two, three sections. Geneva Airport. See, there's even a warning at the back that says that it's a long vehicle. Uh, but it's, I think it's in French, although it looks really, <laughs> really English to me. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't even know how the driver manages to drive such a, such a creature. I mean, look at this. And yeah, let's wait for the uh, for the tram. Apparently, we need tram number fifteen. It will take us straight to uh, a station called Nations. So this is exactly what we need. It's time to uh, check out the check out the trams. I've just seen the tram number eighteen to to turn. Not sure if you want. <laughs> not sure if we want to go there. Uh, just for the sake of it, but uh, well, let me just double check to make sure this is the right spot because all the trains stop here. It may well be it's not the right spot. Let's just double check. Yeah, look, Bel Air. Yeah, well, we definitely need to figure out what this Bel Air actually means. So, this is, I guess, this is where we are, right? So this is number 18, so you see it goes to turn. And number 14. And uh, Bel Air Lyon. No, it doesn't go to you know, to nation. So I think we need the uh, tram number 15, but it doesn't stop here. So let me find uh, let me find where it stops. Right, it sounds like uh, it was the wrong it was the wrong station. So we were just there. So we need to follow. Oh look, <laughs> place the Bel Air. This uh, Bel Air is following us, guys. <laughs> See number 15. So actually number one goes to Jardin Botanique, which is uh, Botanic Gardens. And uh, number 15 goes to Station Cop Nations. And then uh, the time is 15 past four. So we got four every five minutes. So yeah, it should be here pretty soon. I don't know. It's a uh, yeah. It's a little bit silly too. The film is just doing do so small. Let's uh, let's teleport there. All right. So it has been uh, a moment for you and about 12 minutes for me. But yeah, we're finally here. Here is the famous chair. So let's. Uh, Cross the street again, and uh, oh, this reminds me uh, of uh, Tower Bridge. Like near the Tower Bridge, do we have something similar? And a uh, lot of happy kids going around. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the famous chair, and yeah, as you can see, 
it's missing one lug. Apparently it's uh, some sort of a symbol, but let's probably get a bit closer and uh, and see what it actually means. And also here are the flags. So that must be the flags of all nations. Yeah, that's a lot. Nations Unis of my uh, of my French is is right. And yeah, so <laughs> also big hello to Tatiana Barovchenko, the, my uh, partner in crime for the Russian society at Oxford. So I hope she's still around here because uh, last time I remember she was working for you. And so yeah, Danny, if you're watching this, big hello to you. All right, here we are back at the back at the train station. Um, so basically, instead of going to a uh, turn, which I know is going to be just like a United Nations, so you just go there and so it's at a bus stop and then you come back. What I uh, decided to do is actually to take uh, a train that I supposed to take, which was uh, IC1, remember, but uh, I'm going to take it one hour earlier. So the advantage of doing this would be, of course, this to save the daylight. So, uh, so I would rather uh, take a few good shots from the train than sit in a crowded uh, tram on the way to CERN, where I know that, uh, well, <laughs> there's not much waiting for me to see, right? So yeah. Um, I mean, overall, Geneva is not bad. Uh, is it the city for me? No, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, I I don't get it. Maybe, maybe it takes a bit more time and effort to figure it out. But well, I don't know. So here's the train, but I'm not sure if we're allowed to board just yet. It's supposed to leave at uh, almost quarter to six. And uh, no, we're not supposed to take this one. Right, so here's our train approaching. So it's like this would be a double decker. Model 3000. That's right. It's probably too many people, so I'm not surprised to see it. Like, look, the platform is full. Like, everyone is returning back, uh, most likely to Lausanne. But uh, yeah, so we just uh, grab a seat and. Uh,
toch uh, verbouwd maken voor zo'n idee die we ja. met elkaar uh, op lukt uh, zo'n avond nog nog wel goed. Ja. Dus dat we niet, niet uh, Wij hebben aan zijn druk verzorgd, hè. Ja. Ik zie dus een beetje wat ik hier al heb. Dus. 